Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? For fast and cheap coins, check out instantmudcoins.com and use code ZERK for 20% off. Link is in the description. The whole thing wobbing. What's going on guys? It's Zerks coming at you today with another YouTube video and today I want to talk to you guys about the 50 promo that we have right now that players just got but also more importantly I want to talk to you guys about the Kralo situation that happened this morning and I'll talk about that in just a second but I do want to give a shout out to Ryan Garcia for being a part of the Noti Gang. If you guys want a chance to be shouted out in the next video drop a like in the vid make sure you guys are subbed to the channel turn the notification bell on and comment down below Noti Gang. Also you guys see the next batch right there? I'm giving that away for Zerkmas. You guys have been showing me crazy support this year. Thank you guys so much. So Zerkmas is definitely a lot bigger this year. Uh, I'm giving away that Xbox. Also trying to get a PlayStation 5 to give away. And I'm also giving away a $50 gift card every single Friday, which means today. And then also on Christmas Day, I'm giving away a $100 gift card and the Xbox. Try and get a PlayStation as well. All you guys need to do to enter, though, is drop a like in the vid. Make sure you sub to the channel. Comment down below Zerkmas. And leave a way to contact you. I prefer Twitter or Instagram uh, for a contact method. And then every Friday, I'll go through and pick a video upload throughout the week for that. And then on Christmas Day, select a random video uh, from all the December. So you guys definitely make sure you're commenting on literally every single video. Because you never know which video I'm going to pick it off of. So make sure you ask your notification bell on. And the final thing I want to mention real quick before we get into the Kralo situation is G Fuel right now. Code ZERK is 30% off through December 7th. So, so if you've ever wanted to try G Fuel, which is basically a replacement for coffee for me, and I, in my opinion, better because it tastes amazing, go ahead and check it out. And of course, if you want to restock, now's your time. But let's go ahead and talk about the Kralo situation, guys. And uh, to be honest, it's probably going to be a decently longer video today uh i will be on pack play later today as well but i really really want to address the kralo situation okay so if you guys did not watch the ea stream this morning kralo had a i want to say like 10 minutes 10 to 15 minutes yeah he had quite a long talk uh, about his frustrations right now with the company now i want to say this right now okay i understand that the way that content creators are we have followings uh that support what we do and i really appreciate that as well uh that support what we do and of course sometimes we'll kind of like follow our lead of what we do and i really really appreciate you guys having the backings of anyone you watch really i mean that the support is unreal what this community does with the support so today when i tweeted out hashtag stand with kralo you guys went crazy with that tweet in general. Kralo, the word Kralo itself, actually got up to, I saw personally, number four trending in the world, which is just incredible. Like, the amount of support you guys showed Kralo today, seriously, was insane. So if you did miss the EA stream, if you want to go watch it, go to twitch.tv slash EAMANNFL. You can watch stream yourself uh, and see what he had to say. But essentially, I'm going to sum it up here. He was in general just kind of frustrated now because here's the thing with what Kralo does guys he is a community manager there is a big misconception and I'm sure it happens a lot I mean because he is one of the main faces of EA that the people know no one knows you know the the behind the scenes guys that actually work on the content none of you guys know who they are unless you actually do know who they are but most people don't know so when someone has a frustration with the game or they're just mad about the game whatever they tweet at Kralo right so Kralo is just the messenger he doesn't actually change the game he can't change the game he can't make updates to the game he doesn't make content he just relays information so a lot of the times when something goes wrong people tweet at Kralo but they aren't exactly the nicest people what they have to say oh it's easy to see how he gets frustrated because anytime there's an issue in this year specifically guys there's been a lot of issues maybe with the blitz promo with the thanksgiving promo with it's like every other week at least dude every week every other week there's a new issue legends not having uh the animations we have power-ups not giving plus ones to speed we have pack glitches uh we have other glitches as well that are going on the invisible campus heroes he is non-stop getting tweeted whenever there's an issue he is the one who's getting the blunt of it all which obviously is frustrating because he can't actually change anything all he can do is turn around shoot a message some of those guys say hey there's an issue going on and they go okay we'll take a look at it and then he has to load up twitter load up reddit whatever and see all these replies to him everyone's coming after him right so 
it's pretty easy to see how he's getting frustrated. Now, of course, a big thing as well is the level up packs. They shot up to 900 points, I believe. I think it's 900 points per. I don't actually have any of those packs uh, available for me to buy because I'm already maxed my level. Uh, but during Thanksgiving, they actually shot up. I believe they were like 350 points. They shot up to 900. He did address that this morning and he said he had no idea like why they shot up. He said he reached out to people, doesn't have an answer yet as to why they did, did, you know, they did go up and shoot up. But obviously with that, that caused a massive uproar. And again, who gets tweeted? Him. He gets all of the tweets, right? And I want to say, he's not the first community manager we had. We have had Mutt Guru as well. And the same thing happened with Guru, right? But then when Goo got fired, everyone wanted Goo back. Everybody wanted back because here's the thing I don't think a lot of people understand. Although they can't actually change the game. Kralo is out here putting in some serious work and fighting for the community all the time. If you go on Twitter today, you can see all the people that have really, really close connections with Kralo. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I don't have a super close connection with Kralo, okay? Do I respect what he does? Absolutely, I do. Because being a community manager, and I've said this for years, it is so tough. I don't see how it's worth it to be a community manager. Uh, I mean, I, I don't know what like their salary is or whatever, but they probably need to get paid more. Because you have to think, imagine loading up social media every day, and you get thousands of tweets of angry people coming at you, and all you can do to try and solve it is to turn around, message someone, and wait like 12, 24 hours for an answer from them. All the meanwhile, you're still getting all the tweets. And this dude, when we had an, a house rules issue, when people were saying the house rules took too long, this man actually went through, played all the house rules, recorded how long it took, just to be able to go ahead and turn around and say, hey, this is how long it took me to get these wins. This is too long. And as I said, I don't really have too close of a personal connection with him. You know, he doesn't follow me over on Twitter or whatever. But I've seen a lot of tweets about people nonstop saying about how Kralo has done so many things for the community. How they went to EA before. And out of all the people that they've hung out with, of all the people they've seen, he is the one in there that is really, really fighting. I saw a tweet from CC that CC took his son uh, with Kralo to the Super Bowl experience. That is awesome for a community manager to be doing stuff like that. So guys, all I'm saying is... Kralo is obviously frustrated. If you guys would do me a favor, if you would tweet at Kralo or just tweet out, tweet, tweet out hashtag stand with Kralo. Tweet at Kralo, give him some support because honestly, like I can see how frustrating and how stressed out this possibly makes someone. This dude just had heart surgery. I'm pretty sure last year he just had heart surgery or maybe like a little bit earlier in this year. This is not an easy job to do. And it's really not his fault with all the things that have been going on. But this game, obviously there are some issues and I'm just saying, we can't we can't be attacking this man because some things might happen he might be looking to move out i know on the stream uh, i kind of sounded like he might be looking to move out of the position potentially i'm not gonna say 100 sure but it kind of sounded like that to me like maybe he wants to move out of the position because it's just not worth it man and i i completely understand that so if you want to tweet out if you want to comment down below tweet at the man show him some support man now, so I just got this EA Play Celebration Pack. So if you guys have EA Play, you should also get this pack right here. It actually is an All-Pro Fantasy. So they call it an EA Play Celebration Pack. But it's just an All-Pro Fantasy Pack that you get if you guys actually have EA Play. Uh, let's get 86 Bo Jackson right there in round number one. Round two. And you guys have noticed it's actually, this isn't like the video messing up. Like the game itself right now. You see how like it's kind of like choppy here. As you get 92 vince wilfork okay uh and we get even overall taylor may so we get 92 vince wilfork and my free all pro fantasy now the 50 is finally in the game you guys know it's supposed to drop at two it is currently 4 p.m and it finally hit so two hours later i don't know why it was delayed at all but uh yeah it was delayed by two hours uh you guys can see as well it looks like the packs are not in the store just yet now the packs as well are finally out here so i'll do like one or two of these 50 the fantasy packs here with the coins and then i'll show you guys the 50 players up in the auction house you can see here i mean these packs as well it seems to be dropping frames a little bit my guess is because you know next gen just came out there's probably gonna be a patch and imagine with next gen consoles pretty soon to fix some of these issues here uh but round number three we do get 89 jimmy ward it's actually a really solid pull right there uh we also get 84 matty ice and an 84 shane leckler so we're gonna go with that 89 overall jimmy ward it's actually uh, a really really good pull right there we'll do one final pack though i'll hit the auction block i'll show you guys these players stats fly through round one here we get a tyler boyd a power up right there uh we'll go with the 77 round two okay 81 and nothing really else go to 77 i suppose round three here 85 kelsey 85 zeke 
And 84 overall Ray. I'm gonna take the 84 Ray. So let's take a look at these 94 overall to 50 players. Here we have Ray Lewis. He's got 88 speed, 90 acceleration. He's got good block shit, good hit power, good tackling, but of course, terrible zone coverage. Not gonna get that at 90. He's not gonna be good out there. Also, his change of direction is god awful. 79 change of direction. So as a user, he's bad. As a coverage linebacker, he's bad. Not a card I like at all. Uh, we also got Aaron Rodgers, which powered up with 95 throw power because that's what he'll get powered up. He'll be 95 overall with 95 throw power. That means he will get Gunslinger. However, Gunslinger is going to cost 3 AP on him, I'm pretty sure. So, ah, it's a lot of AP to spend on him. Plus, he is an improviser but doesn't have 82 speed, so he's not going to get a Skate Forest on him. Uh, but the throw power is good. The throw accuracies are really, really good as well. Pretty basic stuff right there. Aaron Rodgers. And then the final card we have is, in fact, a punter in Shane Leckler. So with that being said, guys, hope you did enjoy the video. And if you did, make sure to drop a like in the video. And of course, hit that sub button down below. Hashtag Sam Cranlo. Also, don't forget, Zerk Miss, leave with a contact you. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. See you guys next time.